Good evening and a welcome to Compline on this Wednesday evening. Let's just take a moment to gather our thoughts from today and to calm our hearts and our minds. Calm me, O oh Lord, as you stilled the storm. Still me, O oh Lord, keep me from harm. Let all the tumult within me cease. Enfold me, Lord, in your peace. Father, bless the work that is done and the work that is to be. Father, bless the servant that I am <clears throat> and the servant that I will be. Excuse me. <coughs> Thou Lord and God of power, shield and sustain me this night. I will lie down this night with God and God will lie down with me. I will lie down this night with Christ and Christ will lie down with me. I will lie down this night with the Spirit and the Spirit will lie down with me. God and Christ and the Spirit be lying down with me. Tonight we're looking at God's living word. And I'm going to read you five words from Matthew chapter 2 verse 5. For it is written. I'll read that again. For it is written. So what do we have to ponder this evening? What's Nick Fawcett in his book, his book Daily Prayer, given us this evening? As it is written. Those words run like a thread throughout the Gospel of Matthew and indeed throughout much of the New Testament. The message of the law and the prophets seen as fulfilled at the birth, life and death and resurrection of Christ. So what is it saying? On one level, it reinforces the theme we explored yesterday of God's word always being active, never exhausted until it has fulfilled its purpose. There is though, a second truth that can be drawn from these words, which takes those observations a little further. But the fascinating fact is the scriptures cited as being fulfilled were more often than not initially addressed to the very to a very different situation in an altogether different time suddenly though with the coming of christ they took on a new meaning imbued with fresh power and ful fulfilled as yet more in, in, let me read that again, and fulfilled in a yet more wonderful way. God's word of old was speaking again to a new time and situation. Countless generations across the years can testify to that same truth in their own lives. Words of scripture initially concerned with events and people long past have leapt out of the page as though God was speaking directly to them. Here is the wonder of the Bible, that the words so very old can seem so startlingly new. That's why we call it God's word. For difficult though it might be sometimes to understand, occasionally dry, often complex, frequently mystifying, God nonetheless can speak through it today to you and me and to everyone. So ask yourself this evening, do you still expect the Bible to speak directly to your life? Are you open to familiar passages of scripture speaking to you in new ways? Or do you breeze through them too quickly to give them any chance of doing so? Let's pray. Living God, break through the stranglehold of familiarity and complacency and open my heart to your word so that it may speak afresh to my life. Teach me to read the scriptures as Matthew read them. Recognising that your word continues to find fulfilment in Jesus Christ and so may I read with hope faith and expectation, hearing your voice and seeing your hand 
in the world in the world today. Amen. The peace of God be over me to shelter me, under me to uphold me, about me to protect me, behind me to direct me, ever with me to save me. The peace of all peace be mine this night in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for Compline this evening. Please do take care of yourselves when you're trying to look after others. Pray for yourself when you have a list of other people to pray for. Come before God, sometimes not with words, just be quiet in his presence and allow him to speak to you. And when the world feels enormous and everything feels too big and too massive, remember how big God is. He is bigger than you think. Good night and God bless you.